Jermonte Davis speaks out after a litany of complaints about his upcoming fight with Lamont Roach, speaking through a close associate who was given permission to speak on his behalf and said straight out the horse's mouth. We have some more details about Tiafimo Lopez, Shakur Stevenson, and Vasily Lomachenko. Let's talk about that in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Fanon. And in this video, we're going to be in the 135-pound division. We're on the Rise podcast. Coach Squeeze, an associate of Gervonta Davis's, Calvin Ford's, Kenny Ellis's, spoke out on the Rise podcast, a podcast which is owned by Upton Jim, uh, where Gervonta Davis trains. And he said, look, I'm not going to do a lot of talking about this, but let me be very clear. I got this from the horse's, horse's mouth, if you know what I mean. And the reason that the Shakur Stevenson fight did not happen next was not on Gervonta Davis's side, which is essentially saying they tried to fight him and the answer was no. He also said that that they that uh, the reason that the Tiafimo Lopez fight did not happen was not on Gervonta Davis. It was on Tiafimo Lopez, which implies that they reached out to Tiafimo Lopez and tried to see if they could make a fight with Tiafimo Lopez. That didn't take place. We also know why it didn't take place because Tiafimo Lopez said why he can't do inner inner negotiations with fights himself. So that is the Tiafimo Lopez and Shakur. Now, obviously, we know about Vasily Lomachenko and how Vasily Lomachenko, in the words of Igis Klimas, was not willing to fight anybody this year or think about fighting anybody this year. So those are three people in his weight division. Oh, I'm sorry, but Tiafimo Lopez is at 140. But those are three people that they're saying that they tried to fight, but for one reason or another, not on Gervonta, they were not able to make the fight. Now, Let's get into whether or not we believe this to be the truth or not. Let's look at the way boxing usually goes. You know, what people don't like to do a lot, look at the business of boxing and take the names out of it and look at the standard roadblocks, the standard barriers to making fights and the actual barriers to making fights in a particular moment in time. So why do fighters, why are fighters turning down fights with Gervonta Davis? You wouldn't think that they would be turning a guy down who was the biggest money guy in the division, would you? Well, think again. Because you have promotional issues that will hold up fights. Oftentimes, people don't want to admit this because they, when it's convenient, they say, oh, the fighter is the boss. The fighter is the boss. The fighter decides who he's going to fight. Yes and no. The fighter can decide which one of the people that he will fight that is offered by the promoter because he has a promotional contract with the with the with that promoter so that promoter can give him three or four names and he can choose but he cannot force that promoter to make fights with people that he doesn't want to fight if there's no money in it for him they may say they may let you go they may do the deal may may not do the deal but that is a legitimate hurdle to making fights when people have different promoters only someone that is really looking to hate on Gervonta Davis would say that that is not the case. What else do you have going on right now? So that is a traditional barrier. And you know that applied to Tiafimo Lopez. You know that that applied to you. That applies to um, Vasily Lomachenko. It, and it applies to Tiafimo Lopez. Shakur, because those guys are all on different promoters, which means the two promoters have to work together and the money has to work and it has to work for the program that the promoters both have with each other. These are boxing facts. These are not made up. OK, this is you can see happening all through the 60s, all through the 70s, all through the 80s, all through the 90s, all through the 2000s. 2000s, 10s, and you're going to see it in 2050s because that's the nature of the relationship between a promoter and a fighter. The promoter has a promotional company that they look out for and the fighter is just a part of it. 
So they fit the fighter into that larger program. And that larger program has constraints on the promoter that will affect that fighter. That's just a fact. Now, what we do have now, though, is we have a special circumstance where Turkey Alashik is coming in and trying to subsidize boxing matches to compete against Al Heyman. So there are fighters that are getting paychecks and offers to fight people so that they won't go fight Germonte Davis or make it more applause ap- appealing for them to go over and fight a bunch of Europeans the same way that Oscar De La Hoya signed up, signed up um, Canelo Alvarez to fight on match room. And he had all those European fights. But once he came back to the PBC, all of a sudden he's fighting guys, guys like Caleb Plant. He's fighting guys on the PBC, even though he didn't fight David Benavidez, he's still bouncing back, back and forth and getting those fights done. Right. Once he became a promotional free agent. Now, Devin is not like Canelo. Well, I won't get on Devin. Some of these people are not like Canelo. Now, if people are going to pay you money to go over there and do that, like little mini Canelo fights, they're not going to go fight Gervonta because they're going to say, hey, man, I can make this money and then I can go to the big fight. That's what Shakur did. And Shakur said it himself. Shakur said, hey, man, I know y'all want to make these fights, but I got to go get this bag. And then I'll be back. That's what Shakur said. And that's clearly related to the Jermonte Davis fight. So, again, somebody saying that it's not on Jermonte, but Shakur and Tio, definitely not. Now, let's talk about another reason why people would not be so quick to get in there with Jermonte because they can lose. And they can lose in a very ugly fashion because Gervonta Davis is the real deal fighter and Gervonta Davis is entering into his prime as a fighter. And right now is a time where he's flowing, he's on his game, and they may say, hey, man, let me wait to see if he gets off his game a little bit. Or let me see, and while I'm making this turkey money that these idiots are out here bragging about that ain't going to be around long. At least I don't think it is. If it is, it is. If it ain't, I don't believe it will be because people don't like losing money for long period for uh, for long periods of time. Anyway, uh, that are, are real reasons why these fights, uh, why these fights are not taking place for Tank. Then you got to understand that um, the push, the push on Gervonta Davis's name is also not just on Gervonta himself. It's a network battle. It is a battle between Oscar De La Hoya and Oscar, well, that, that Boxing Writers Association of America network crew that support so heavily Golden Boy and Top Rank. These dudes are out there putting hit pieces out on PBC and Gervonta Davis for years. Specifically the PBC, they're going broke. They're going out of business. They're losing this. This fight was a flop. You literally got bozos on YouTube already saying that Gervonta Davis's fight has already flopped. Like talking about the flop ahead of time. As if we don't know that you're a bot and just out there saying what people are telling you to say or saying things that you think people want to hear so that they'll be friendly to you and give you some money. Claymore, bum ass. Anyway... <laughs> The whole thing is wild to me, man. Gervonta Davis is telling you, and I'm glad he said it. I'm glad they gave that little bit out there, even though I already knew it. This dude said, look, as soon as he said, all right, man, I'm trying to go after all these guys. All those guys got out the way as soon as he said it. (laughs) As soon as they said it, they all got out the way. Like, oh, he wasn't acting like he wanted to fight us, so we'll act like we want to fight him. And then when he acts like he starts talking like he wants to fight y'all, y'all got something else to do all of a sudden. And don't act like I ain't telling the truth. Anyway, that's my take on the matter. Please let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Deuces.